Good evening, good evening everybody. Everybody come past. So am I audible? Okay. So let's start the lesson with our new topic in structural organization in animals, cockroach. So morphology and anatomy of cockroach. So first morphology that is the study of external features and anatomy so that is the study of morphology of internal organs so cockroach that is periplanet americana Periplanet American This is nocturnal Omnivores and live in dumb places. They are very much common in dumb places. The color of cockroach that is brown or black Sometimes bright yellow, red color is also there. The red and green colored cockroaches are also present in the tropical regions. The size of the cockroach is almost 0 0.6 to 7.6 centimeters.
So the systemic position of cockroach, we know this one. Tell me, the phylum. What is the phylum? That is arthropoda. Class Insecta Genus Periplaneta and the species that is American. So now we move to the different parts. So the morphology of cockroach So the adult is about thirty four to fifty three mm long their body is covered with hard brown chitinous exoskeleton in each segment the exoskeleton has hardened plates the hardened plates of the exoskeleton these are called the sclerites very important and the sclerites are dorsal targites and the ventral sternites remember this one targa and sterna They are joined to each other by a thin, flexible, articular membrane. The articular membrane that is called arthrodial membrane remember this one arthrodial membrane the body has three regions the head 
the thorax and abdomen. See the external feature. That's the filiform antennae. That's the compound eye. This one are called the pronotum. This part is called the mesothorax. This is the Prothoracic leg, this part, that is the metathorax, this zone. So this is mesothoracic leg and these are metathoracic leg. And this part is abdomen. And that is the anal sarsi and the tegmina and hind wing. So remember this diagram, it's a very important for you. Lot of questions are came from this one. So the head look like it's a triangular shape. and formed by six fused segments. It shows great mobility in all direction due to its flexible neck. The head bears a pair of thread-like antennae and a pair of compound eye and different mouth parts. Those are helps in biting and chewing. Now the different mouth parts, a labrum, that is the upper lip, a labium, That is the lower lip. Mandibles. Maxillae. And the hypopharynx. That's the tongue. See the different mouth parts here. This is the mandible. That's the mandible in pair, the grindic region. That is the labium. That's the labium and that was labrum. That's the tongue or the hypopharynx. 
and two maxilla. So labium one, labrum one, mandible two, maxilla two and mandible two and one hypopharynx. So these are its mouth parts. So remember this one, it's very important and the diagram are given there and ask what are the parts and which, what is the function, which is labium, which is labrum, what is mandible, what is hypopharynx, so this type of things are there. So take a screenshot, it's very important for you. So before moving to the next page, the thorax part, look at here. The thorax part is divided into three part, the thorax. Number one, the prothorax. Number two, the mesothorax. And number three, the metathorax. Pro mesometa. The head is connected to thorax by a neck. This is the short extension of prothorax. So prothorax short extension, that's the neck part. Each thoracic segment bear each of the thoracic part bear a pair of walking legs. Two pair of wing, that is two fore wing and two hind wings. The fore wing, fore wing that is mesothoracic, very important. Fore wing is mesothoracic. It is called tegmina. And the hind wing that is metathoracic. This is mesothoracic, that is metathoracic. The tegmina or mesothoracic fore wing is opaque, dark, leathery and this is the cover. It's cover the hind wings when the cockroach are in rest. The hind wing that is metathoracic origin it is transparent membranous and this one used in flight. So which wing is helps in flight? So that is the hind wing. Tegmina is also called elytra.
near the abdomen so the abdomen part consists of the abdomen part is consists of 10 segment in female the seventh seventh is boat shaped In eighth and ninth, Starna form the brute pouch. Or the genital pouch. It consists of female gonophore, spermathical pores, and collateral glands. In males, the genital pouch lies at the hind end of the abdomen, bounded by dorsally 9th and 10th, 9th and in male that is ninth and tenth Ninth and tenth targa are ventrally by the ninth sternum. In both sexes, tenth segment bear the anal sarsi. So very important. So that is tenth segment in both male and female. Males bear a pair of short thread like structure that is anal style that special that only present in male. So remember this one anal style. only present in male. So when we differentiate between male and the female, so every time the male and female cockroach the male are larger than female wings are extend beyond the tip of abdomen in female wings do not extend beyond the tip of abdomen in male the abdomen is narrow but in female that is broad, broad abdomen. Anal style present in male, but that is absent in female. And, but in male, the brute pouch is absent, which is present in female. So let's move to the 
नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो दैट इज द एलिमेंटरी कैनल ऑफ कॉकरोच The digestive system or alimentary canal has three parts: the foregut, the midgut, and the hindgut. The foregut. it is lined by cuticle it is lined by cuticle it includes the mouth then pharynx then esophagus then the store of food that is the crop and from crop to gizzard so grizzard is also known as pro ventriculus remember this one so the mouth then pharynx then the esophagus then the crop then the gizzard or proventriculus gizzard what the function of the gizzard can anybody tell me what the function of gizzard in cockroach that helps in grinding the food so gizzard helps in grinding grinding the food yes crushing or grinding it has an outer layer of thick circular muscles and thick inner cuticle inner cuticle form six chitinous plate six chitinous plate so this is the teeth like structure after this the mesenteron or the meat guard meat guard or mesenteron it is not lined by cuticle there are Six to eight tubules are there. These tubules, that is known as hepatic cica, or it is also called gastric cica.
These are seen in the junction of. So hepatic cica is the junction of foregut and midgut. Very important to remember. The function is to secrete the digestive juice. At the junction of midgut, midgut, and hindgut, there are hundred to one fifty yellow colored malpigian tubules. So that is hundred to one fifty number. Next, the hindgut. The hindgut is the broader than the midgut and lined internally by cuticle. So, hindgut, the cuticle is covered the foregut, but there is no cuticle in midgut. But in hindgut. it is covered internally by cuticle hindgut include the ileum the colon the rectum so rectum opens out through anus so is it clear the digestive system or the alimentary canal of cockroach so let's move to the next part there the circulatory system of cockroach in cockroach the circulatory system is open type blood vessels are poorly developed and open into the space that the character the space is called the hemocil open space where the blood are going to open come in contact of hemocil the visceral organs are located in hemocil and bathed in blood and this is called the hemolymph so hemolymph are associated with the colorless plasma the colorless plasma and hemocytes heart consist of elongated that's the chamber elongated muscular tube lining along the mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen thorax and abdomen it has a funnel shaped chamber the funnel shaped chamber having ostia on either side the ostia or the perforation is there blood from sinuses enter heart 
through ostia from sinuses blood enter into ostia and puff pumped anteriorly that is very important here the the blood sir pumped anteriorly to sinuses again that the open circulatory system of cockroach next the respiratory system it consists of a network of here you see the network of trachea the network of trachea and open through 10 pairs 10 pairs of small holes and these 10 pairs of small holes are called spiracles and they are present on the lateral side spiracles present the lateral side of the body the thin branches of tracheal tubes are called the tracheoles the branches are called tracheoles they carry oxygen from here to all parts the op the open of the spiracles is regulated by the sphincter and the gaseous exchange take place in the tracheoles by the process of diffusion see the thoracic spiracle main trachea trunk we had abdominal spiracles tracheal trunk ventral trachea trunk transverse trachea these are the transverse position and this is the tracheal branches to dorsal longitudinal tracheal trunk and these are the abdominal sp spiracle these are the spiracles so from this we move to the next part that the excretory system you know the cockroach is uricotelic uricotelic in nature their excretory organ that we already mentioned earlier the malpighi gentibule the malpighi gentibules each tubule is lined by glandular and ciliated cells there are glandular cell glandular and ciliated cells they absorb nitrogenous waste so these cells are absorb 
the nitrogenous waste and convert them into uric acid which are excreted out through the hind guard beside the malpigian tubule the other component that other part that helps in excretion fat body the nephrocytes and uricose gland uricose gland are also help in excretion next the nervous system see the different parts of nervous system which is segmentally arranged ganglia segmentally arranged ganglia is there that joined by paired longitudinal connectives on the ventral side so these are the connectives and the ganglia is attached three ganglia lie in the thorax and six in abdomen three ganglia in thorax and six ganglia in abdomen the head hold only a bit of nervous system remaining part situated along the ventral part of the body so if the head of the cockroach is cut off so it is still live it still live for one week because the head holds only a bit of nervous system the supra osophageal ganglion the supra osophageal ganglion that is in the brain part supplies nerves to antennae and compound eyes the sense organ antennae eyes maxillary pulp labial pulp anal cerci these are the sense organ very important what are the sense organ of cockroach that is antennae the eyes maxillary pulp labial pulps and anal cerci sensory receptor of antennae monitor the environment antennae always monitoring the environment each compound i consists of about 2000 hexagonal omatidia that they unit
Using this, a cockroach can receive several images of an object. So, by Omatidia, look. So, 2000 hexagonal Omatidia, they get the several vision of an object, and this is called the mosaic vision. So, mosaic vision is found in cockroach due to presence of 2000 omatidia in it. It has more sensitivity but less resolution being common during night. Hence, it is also called the nocturnal vision. So this is nocturnal vision and this is all about the nervous system of the cockroach. The another important part of cockroach that is the reproductive system starting with the male reproductive system. Cockroach is dioecious, so male and female are separate. Male reproductive system it consists of A pair of testes seminal vesicle number three accessory gland. accessory glands and external genitalia. External genitalia. The test is that present laterally in the fourth to sixth abdominal segments. Each testis having a thin vas deferens from vas deferens the seminal fluid the seminal vesicle Seminal vesicle to ejaculatory duct. From ejaculatory duct, then male gonophore. The seminal vesicle, what is the function? It stores sperms. Sperms are glued with to form a bundle that are called spermatophores. They are discharged during copulation. Its accessory gland include the mushroom gland. The mushroom gland. The mushroom gland is present in sixth to seventh abdominal segment. These are very important. This type of questions are asked. Which segment present in the testes? That is four to six. Mushroom gland, sixth and seventh. The another accessory gland, that is the 
fairly gland. That's the fairly gland. Their secretion is nourish the mushroom gland and fairy gland. The secretion nourish the sperms. The external genitalia. The male gonapophytes, male gonapophytes is also called phallomeres. Chitinous asymmetrical structure surrounding the male gonopho. Let's see the diagram. Look the testes. That the accessory duck the belly gland. Here the small tubular, long tubule in mushroom gland. There the seminal vesicle and there the vas deferens part. This is the ejaculatory duct and the two right phelomere and the left phelomere is there. Anal sarsi is present where the anal Style is also there. So this is a very important diagram. Keep it into mind. Next, the female reproductive system. Female reproductive system consists of Two ovaries, oviduct, spermatica, it's a special structure in cockroach present in the female reproductive system, the spermatica. The genital chamber. and collateral gland. So the ovaries are present the second to the sixth abdominal segment. Each ovary is formed by eight ovarian tubules or ovarioles. Eight ovarioles are there containing a chain of developing ovum. The oviduct the oviduct of each ovary united into a single median oviduct. Median oviduct and which open into genital chamber. A pair of spermatica that is in pair. Pair of spermatica are present very important in six segment. In six segment, which open into this one open into genital chamber.
sperms are transferred through spermatophores and their fertilized egg is encased in uthika. The uthika is a dark reddish blackish brown capsule 8 mm in long. Uthika. Females lay 9 to 10 uthika and each contain each one contain 14 to 16 eggs. The direct development is not there because there is a nymphial state. That is nymphial state. So they are pleurometabolous. Nymph are look like adults. They mold 13 times. So that's very important. They mold 13 times in their lifespan to reach the adult form. The next to last nymphial stage has wing pads. Only adult cockroach have wings. Look at the diagram. <laughs> there are these are the ovarioles. These are the ovarioles. Eight ovarioles from the ovary. That's the oviduct. And they are united to form the common oviduct. These are the two collateral gland, unequal, these are, this one large and this one smaller. That's the genital chamber here. And the gonapophyses are there in the genital chamber. So genital chamber and the vestibulum collectively form the genital pouch. And here the pear structure, spermatica, which is also open into the genital chamber. So this is all about the cockroach. So the cockroach are treated as paste because they destroy the food and contaminate with many food with smelly excreta they also transmit the bacterial diseases like cholera, typhoid, and tuberculosis. So we almost completed cockroach and its different parts. Till then, we meet in the next class. So bye everybody, good night.